Hey my loves, back with another video. So I got some um, Mika powders. This one should I read you guys real quick. I got them from Mad Mika. Um, I'll put them where they put the box in. They leave a little uh, thank you card at the end. Just a minute. Okay, I wanna show you some um, Mika powders I got. I'm gonna play with some acrylics. I've been playing with this for a while, but I've never done a video about it. Okay, so let's open the simple stuff first. So I got some of these, these little measuring spoons. Um, these are plastic. This one is a teaspoon, I believe. Oh, yeah, teaspoon. You get five of them. Let me get it closer. Um, I got it for, I'll put it in the description. I think I got these for like $2 or something like that. Like just multiple ones and I can have it just for like a simple color the color I'm using and oh these are long okay so these right here these are 1.25 cc's and I think this is um, one fourth of a teaspoon I'm thinking it could be it I can't remember it look like one fourth yeah, kind of. Yeah, no. I'll put it in the picture, in the video, I mean. This is 0.15 cc's, and I think this is 1 16th of a measuring thing, it looks like. Okay, so, I'm in this one. This one has five. This one has five, too. Um, but you see these right here. I got these after I bought those, but I got these from Amazon, so these came like in two days. No, it's supposed to come the next day, but it came like five days later. But yeah, I got from 1 16th all the way to a tablespoon. And they were, I think, $13. Okay, so let's open this up. See what I got? I'm make sure I got everything because they marked it on here. But I just want to make sure. Put that. Put that to the side. Oh, my address and I just blur it out. Please. Okay. Let's just open this bad boy up. Knock this stuff over. Ooh, it looks all nice and pretty. Okay, so what was this one? Okay, let's open this up. Maybe this wasn't a sample? What is this? All of them say sample bags. This extra? Ooh, pow pow purple. Do I have that? Oh, so some extra just gave me. Oh, that's what's up. Thank you. Is a thank you gift? Okay, Mad Mika's. You can catch them on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm on their Facebook. I'll be talking to people. And yeah, they answer back pretty fast. So this is Pow Pow Purple. It's a generous teaspoon. So all the samples I have are teaspoons. Um, this is CP Soap Stable. It contains Mika, Titanium Dioxide, Tin Dioxide, Magnesium Violet. FDA permits using eye area, yes. Your lips, yes, and external use, yes. And they are in West Palm, Florida. This color is pretty, you guys. Thank you. They gave me an extra color. They better. Yeah. I kind of remember no, ordering no purple. I wanted to, but I wanted to see how these were. I got so many other colors. Okay, so. Let's take out one at a time. So I got Guava Lava. I really like that one because it's like, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's like a skin tone color, right? But with some, um, kind of like pinkish in there some more. Where's my purple one? Oh, right there. I'm over losing my mind, guys. <laughs> okay, we have Key West Blue. Ooh, that is so pretty. That is so bomb. So bomb. So bomb. This is wicked. 
I want to try samples because I didn't know. This is a this is really a big generous teaspoon. Cause let me show you these right here. Okay. These are two teaspoons. Two two teaspoons. Oh you guys, I'm so sorry, I made a big old mistake. This is two teaspoons or one teaspoon, one generous teaspoon. And these are two to three teaspoons. I'm getting this mixed up. Okay, this is that's Key West Blue. I really like that color. Okay, how much did I get? Sexy stranger on a train. <laughs> this color looks so bomb, you guys. I'm gonna put pictures up so you guys can see what it looked like on the internet because I don't know if this is any doing any justice in this bag. I think I should open them. Should I open them? Yeah. Okay. It's Mika powder, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, you guys can't really see. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Can you see the shimmer inside? A little bit. So when you open it, the powder falls down. Okay, so you get about that much. And each one was like a dollar or something. I think it was like a dollar fifty. And that's like not bad at all. For a sample. Okay, so let me do this real quick. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. Let me try to open it a little bit more. Let me zoom in. This camera. Okay. I hope it shows up big because I can't really tell. Okay. Okay, so next we have matte brown a oh, matte gold this is pretty it's so pretty maybe how uranium blue look at that so this is um pigment yeah that's the only this only pigment I got I don't think they really had the lot they have more um, Mika powder. So this is a pigment, and you know how much I love blue, so I had to get a blue one. And this is uranium. Oh, ultramarine blue. Why well, keep saying uranium? This is Snow White. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that is so pretty. And my last one is Twilight. Oh, see on the picture, look darker. So pretty you guys okay so I'm about to choose a color to play with real quick and we'll come back and make some powders oh they gave me a Swedish fish it was inside this one who remember these I remember eating these when I was little you know what a Swedish fish is put up a fish <laughs> in the comments I don't, know, I don't know if they have one out there like, like what is, is it called a Swedish fish like for real or, you know how they say stuff is something, but it's really not. So just let me know if you do know. All right, you guys. You like that? Okay, we are back. All right, so um. Oh, if you hear the noise in the back, I'm sorry. I have my teapot on. Put on some sleepy time tea that I made. Okay, so I'm just gonna use these plastic ones because they're here. Alright, so this is I'm using Crystal Clear Acrylic Palette by Nail Supply Glamour. And I'm using the uh white acrylic French 3 th D. I'm trying to see if there's any more out, like a different brand or something, because something that I don't think is from the same supplier. Because man, these things are 
going up on Amazon. It's ridiculous. You see that a white one, four ounce? It's like thirty something dollars. I'm like, yo, yo, it's tripping. Okay, I think it's a teaspoon. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of that. I'm not making a big batch or nothing like that. Okay, so one teaspoon of clear. Put that on top of there. And then the next thing you want to do is um yeah, get these small ones for the white one. Because you want it to be one third of the white. But I don't know. I just want to do like a little less than that. Just to see, because I don't I don't know. We'll just do a whole one. Let's go with it. Get one. What am I doing? That's clear, you guys. No one told me. <laughs> okay. Get some white. I don't want too much. Okay. Got the white in there. And next we have this one. I'm going to use this one. So we are going to do blue first. Let's do blue. No, let's do purple first. Purple. Yeah. If I get it open, I should have worn gloves. You guys, when you do this, wear gloves. Okay, so. I'm going to get Pow Wow. This is, I think, 1 16th like the other one, so we're gonna make it flat as possible. And we're going to dump that in there. That is a small amount. I'm doing a little at a time because I never used their stuff before. Okay, so we got that out of the way. So now I'm about to mix this up, you guys. So I'm going to speed the process up. Okay, so as you can see, I put some in this container because this thing is very um, wide and plus I just didn't want to um, get any stuff in there. So it's like any monomer. Oh, <gasps> damn it. Okay, you guys. Um. So I put this in here because I wanted to swatch it real quick. Not swatch it, but you know. See what it looked like. Oh, damn it. This had makeup powder and I just contaminated it. Oh, gosh. So, uh, let me see. Why didn't we contaminate? Is this other makeup powder? I just transferred it. It was like a tad bit, so I guess it shouldn't really have an effect on it but I really like how their uh, Mika powder blended in really good I didn't have to do a lot okay so we're just going to try a little bit this is with the slow set monomer you guys okay a little closer um, I'm just going to swatch it right here I mean, that's a pretty color, but not the color I'm going for. Yeah. I had too much white. So we're going to add some more of this purple. Add the dark amount. 
Where's the thing at? Okay, I lost it. I don't know how, so we're just going to use this one. So we're going to just dump this back in there. Yep, one sixteenth. I think I'm supposed to add the same amount as white, huh? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Just to even it out, but I'm trying to... There's like too much on here. Now I ain't got enough. Okay, I think that's enough. So basically, I used all together, because I think I don't think there's enough pigment right there. One eighth. And this is pow pow. So we're going to mix this back up again. Okay, we're gonna try it again. I should have made more wets. I don't think that's the purple. I can see it. Let's see. I put it over here. Put it right here. Mm. I like that purple. Let me get this real wet. Let's see. Let's see. What's the color? It's a pretty purple. I think that's the purple I'm going for, you guys. Look at that. That's so pretty. That really is. so good okay so this is the color I'm going to do all right so I'm gonna put that in a container I'll be right back okay so next we're gonna do ultramarine blue oh let me get the stuff first okay so you're gonna use a teaspoon you use less if you want I'm honestly using too much. I'm just practicing. Right here. Okay, so then you want one third of a teaspoon of white. You put that in there. And then we're going to do the pigment. I don't want to make a powder. So you know what? Since the other one was that, I'm just gonna let's grab this right here. I forgot this is clear, so I think I contaminated it. God dang it. Okay. I wasn't thinking right there. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up.
My dumb ass. What? I'm so stupid. Whoa, what the? I put my brush in my drink. You put what? My brush in my drink. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. No, that's not funny. I'm glad I know I could have been drinking monomer. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in here. Take a blue. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, let me pick up another piece because I want to see if there's any, um, you know, um, marbling. I don't see anything. You know, you know, so like as soon as you put it down. Nothing. Okay, so I'm going to try this out on some nails, you guys. These two colors. Yay, I'm so pumped. Hey. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, y'all, so I'm back about to die. I'm just going to show you the end results. Um, yeah, so it's a little patchy, the blue one, purple one. I like it a lot. Let me hurry up for this to turn off. So this is the uranium blue, and that's the purple. So pretty. You know the darker you make it, it's going to get darker, or you have less pigment, more pigment, or you change it, you know, mix it up. But, yeah. These are the colors. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make the picture the video darker because these are darker than what they look on the camera. These are dark colors. So yeah, okay. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Oh, I don't know. Anybody want one of these colors? Not like the, co the whole thing, like I can make you one of these and give it to you. Out of all the colors you've seen, you can tell me which one you want. So rewind the video and let me know.